hating frigo identities is not really useful. We need to solve them and we need to know the tricks. So in the earlier video, I had shown you another frigo identity which was similar to this. Let us see how we solve this one which is sin a minus cos a plus 1 upon sin a plus cos a minus 1 and that is equal to 1 plus sin a upon cos a. Now the trick for this is look at your right hand side. In the numerator we have 1 plus sin a. Do we have 1 plus sin a? No. So we will write the LHS as it is. and rationalize it with 1 plus sin a upon 1 plus sin a. Okay, so in the numerator we need 1 plus sin a. So this bracket we are not going to touch at all. So in the numerator we will write sin a minus cos a plus 1 into 1 plus sin a and in the denominator this whole thing will multiply this now you can either multiply this whole thing by 1 first and this whole thing by this later or you can multiply sin a with these two then cos a with these two then 1 with these two let us take sin a and multiply these two with that so we will have sin a plus sine square a so you multiply it by sine a now take cos a so plus cos a into 1 that is cos a cos a into sine a that is sine a cos a and now we multiply by minus 1 minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 and minus 1 into sine a is minus sine a sin a sin a get cancelled and what do we have over here we have sin square a minus 1 can you see that now we we don't need sin a in the denominator what do we want in the denominator cos a so can we convert this sin square a into cos square a one way of doing that is sin square a minus 1 will be minus cos square a but some of you may find it confusing, not a problem. Take this sin square a and write it, it is 1 minus cos square a. Okay, then write this cos a as it is, plus sin a cos a as it is, minus 1 as it is, and in the numerator, these two brackets we will write as they are. 1 and this minus 1 got cancelled. Let us see what we have in the denominator now. Cos square a with negative sign cos a and sin a cos a. What do we need in the denominator? Cos a. So we must take out cos a common. Each term is having cos a in it. So this will be minus cos a plus this is out so plus 1 plus this will be sin a. Okay, so that will give us in the numerator sine minus cos a plus 1 and 1 plus sine. Can you see this and this aren't they the same? Sine a, then cos a has got minus sine and then 1. So this bracket is cancelling out with this one. What do we have? 1 plus sine a upon cos a. So it's not all that scary, right? You don't have to hate trigo identities. The trigonometrical identities can be very, very simple if you keep practicing and understand the tricks to solve them. Watch more videos on this channel. Till then, take care and thank you for watching. Bye.